Yo, what's good boys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to safely overclock your GPU to boost your frames and to improve your game performance. If this sounds interesting to you, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and drop a like if you want to see more content like this. Now, let's get started with the video. If this is your first time overclocking, I would recommend watching this through first so you know what to expect throughout the process. Okay, now I'm going to show you the FPS that I get on my PC before overclocking my GPU, and then I'm going to show the end results at the end of the video. The link for the downloads will be in the description of the video, and it will lead you to my Discord. And from the Discord, once you join in, go to the YouTube vid download and links section and look for MSI Afterburner and MSI Combustor. So first, the program that you'll need to download is called MSI Afterburner, and the link to that will be found in the description of the video. Now, after you've opened up MSI afterburner there are only a few things that you need to focus on and those things include the core clock memory clock power limit temperature limit and the fan speed now for the fan speed i'll recommend you set it anywhere around 50 to 70 percent or at any level that isn't too loud because you don't want your pc sounding like a playstation airplane but if you don't mind the super loud noise fans, you can turn it up past 70%. But again, I would recommend to keep it around 50 to 70%. And as a quick test, you can turn the fan speed up to 80. Click on the check mark and you'll hear that your PC fans will start turning up. After you tested that out at your preferred level, you can turn it back down to what it was at. Or to, like I said before, around 50 to 70%. And now for your power limit, turn this all the way up to the right. Mine was already on 100 upon installing the Afterburner application. However, it may not be the same for you. And you'll notice that as you increase the power limit, you'll see that the temperature limit also increases but do keep this in mind that just because the temperature increases to that value that does not mean that it will reach that point because there's a 99 percent chance that your gpu will never reach that high temperature unless there is something seriously wrong with your pc so you don't have to worry about that now click on the settings icon and choose start with windows and start minimize as well to make sure that the overclock settings start with you every time you turn on your pc now after turning these on click on apply click ok and now you'll be opening up msi combustor and the link for this will also be in the description of the video now on the application if you have more than one graphics card on your pc make sure that the one you will be testing is selected however if you only have one then that single gpu will be shown in the selection here already now the next thing that we need to do is choose a stress test and it doesn't matter which test you choose because each test will max out your gpu but if you're wondering about the one that i'll be choosing the one i'll be choosing is, is vk fur mark msi and you can leave the resolution as is because that does not matter now after you've done that click on run stress test and you'll see that this screen will pop up now you can minimize this a little bit to make it fit turn up your temperature limit to 100 as well because like i said before there is no way that your gpu can ever reach this level here unless there is seriously something wrong with your pc so you don't have to worry about that and now as you can see as well i turned off my live wallpaper so if you do have a live wallpaper running in the background make sure to turn it off so that it doesn't interfere with the stress test now on the msi afterburner application we'll be focusing on the clock section here and for the core clock which is what we're starting with we'll be going up in intervals of 40. so from here click on a zero type in four zero and then enter and then from there click on the check mark located right there now since i've done this before i know what intervals my gpu can handle but for you wait two to three minutes with each interval that you increase so with this you'll be waiting two to three minutes and then if the msi combustor doesn't stutter if you don't see any graphical errors on this application here that means that you can increase it even more okay so after waiting the two minutes if nothing went wrong on the msi combustor add 40 more so from 40 we'll be changing this to 80 enter and then click on apply then from here wait another two minutes and as always if you're worried about your gpu getting too hot you can always turn up your fan speed to cool it down a little like i did with mine and it's at 70 percent right now just as a reminder please do not skip ahead you need to follow along step by step so that you don't mess up on anything and so that you're not missing out on anything as well now after the two minutes if 80 worked perfectly for you and you didn't see any graphical problems you can add 40 more so from 80 it'll now be 120 and apply that change and wait two more minutes now if you didn't have any problems with 120 add 40 more which will now be be 140 now if you didn't see any problems with 120 we're now going to add 40 more and when adding the 40 it'll now be at 160 click on enter and then apply the change and then wait another two to three minutes now if you had no problems with the interval of 160 you can add 40 more which will now bring it to 200 apply the change and then wait the recommended time until you can try it again now there may be some of you whose application for msi combustor have crashed or you may see graphical errors on your screen if your screen does black out do not worry it may restart 
restart your PC and it'll bring it back to your default setting. So do not worry. However, if the Intervola 200 worked perfectly well for you and you didn't see any problems on the MSI combustor, we're now going to add 40 more. So from 200, we're going to change this to 240. Click on enter and then apply that change. If 240 worked perfectly for you and you didn't see any problems on this application, we're now going to add 40 more. So from 240, we'll be bringing this on up to 280. And then from that, click on enter and then apply the change. Now, as you can see, my MSI combustor did freeze and it's not working anymore. Whenever that happens to you or whenever you see any graphical errors on your screen, that means that your GPU cannot support this interval. Actually, what you have to do is close out the MSI combustor, now close out the combustor launcher, and then on the MSI afterburner from 280, what you want to do is bring it back to the interval that you used before the 280. And for us, that was 240. Click on enter and then be sure to apply the change. And now you can open MSI combustor back up. And just like I mentioned before, the stress test that you choose does not matter. And for this one, I'll be using VK test mark X16. Okay, to minimize it again and move it over to the left, the interval that my GPU could not handle was at 280. For you, it could have been 120. If it couldn't handle 120, just bring it back down, minus 40, to back to 80. And now since we know that 280 is where my GPU cannot handle, we'll be increasing the core clock by 10 instead of 40. So from 240, I'll be bringing this on up to 250. Now, if adding 10 worked for you and you had no problems with MSI combustor, and in this case, for me, it was at 250, if that worked perfectly for you, and now you can add 10 more, and for me, that'll be 260. For you, it may be a different number. So after doing that, click on enter and then apply that change. And unfortunately for me, my MSI combustor did crash when I was at the 260 interval. So what you want to do, because for sure you won't have the exact same interval as me. So if your MSI combustor does crash, just close out MSI combustor and then close out the launcher as well. Now, after you close this out, go back to the MSI afterburner, go to the core clock and lower your core clock by 10. So for me, since I was at 260, I'm gonna bring this down to 250. Click on enter, apply that change. And now you have found your core clock that your GPU can handle. Now let's move on over to the memory clock. Now the process for the memory clock is somewhat similar to the core clock, but instead of going up by increments of 40, we'll be going up by increments of 100. And since I already know my GPU limit for the memory clock, and just so I don't make this process too repetitive, what you'll be doing is moving your memory clock up by 100 every two minutes, just like before. You're gonna test it for two minutes and add more if the MSI combustor does not crash. Now, if you made it to this point, that means that you found your max memory clock limit and your MSI combustor has crashed or something wrong happened. Now, what you have to do is minus 100. So for me, my limit for my memory clock was 1500. So I subtracted 100 and from that, I went to 1400. Now, after you minus 100, enter and apply that change. And since we know that 1400 works well for us, we're just gonna keep it at that. If you want to, you can add 50 as well since it's below your limit, you can test that as well. So you can add 50. So from 1400, you can change this to 1450 or whatever number it may be for you. But in my opinion, that's too close to the limit of 1500. So I'm gonna just keep this at 1400. And yeah, after you have set your overclock value, now we're going to save it. So apply what we have just done. Click on the save button and then choose one of these values to save it. For example, I'm gonna save it at the number five. And whenever you open this application, your overclock values will be saved at number five. So guys, also make sure to set a quiet preset. That's what I like to call it so that your fan speeds aren't always running at the max level and so that it's not too loud all the time. So what you wanna do is put your fan speed down a little bit. For me, I like to turn it down all the way to 30. And now for your memory clock, you wanna put that back to zero. And for your core clock, you wanna put that back to zero as well. Now apply that change. And then as you can hear, your fan speeds will calm down and your PC will start to get quiet. Now apply that change, click on the save button and choose one of these numbers to save it as. I'm gonna, for example, choose three. And now every time I choose three, it'll bring it to this preset that you have previously saved as well. Everything that you'll need will be found in the description of the video. Please don't hesitate on asking any questions. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And if this video helped you out in any way, comment and boost FPS so I know who the real ones are who watched it all the way through. And shout out to the Noti Gang for always being the first ones whenever I post a new video. If you want to be featured in the next one, make sure to hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I post. And as always, it's your boy Liquid and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.